Well, I figured out why my camera kept dying. As it turns out, I had it recording on uh, the highest resolution. Apparently this seven-year-old phone can't do that. Anyway, so what I was doing was removing the uh, choke, excuse me, choke, um, idle adjust knob and cable here. So what you're supposed to be able to do is pull the knob off and then slide this out from the front. I tried doing that and it just kind of came off. Not the end of the world. If I wind up using this piece again, all I would need to do is put it back in and give it a little crimp there and be good to go. But, you know, that's our uh, problem with our uh, choke cable. <sighs> Idle just cable. So anyway, let's get back to work. We're going to pull off the choke arm, which is going to be a little easier. So what we do for that... And it's out. Let me just kind of fish it through our fisherman outboard here. There we go. And our choke is off. Put it back on. Same thing to get it off. Let me uh, see if I can back up here. So I've already uh, got one screw out. We got one here, here, and two in the back. Let me see if I can rotate and you can see the one in the back. One of the fronts are pretty self-explanatory to get this carburetor off, but this one, right there, you're not getting off the flywheel on. But we're almost uh, removed here. Let's go ahead and get my screwdriver in there. It's not budging. Upgrade to our socket. Now when I say socket, Socket screwdriver bit. I go through these constantly. Kind of sucks. See, so stop carrying them because I would just take them back and turn them and get a new one whenever I broke one. But it is what it is. So this is the last set I have. Then I'll have to buy them from some overpriced retailer like Snap On or something. Or if I'm spending that kind of money, I'm sure Evanerd has a tool that gets this off. I'll probably just buy one of those. Yeah, you're not supposed to use this small of a screwdriver, but I already broke them loose. So I'm just... Screwdriver is just easing my removal at this point. And what I should have done is taken off that fuel line first. But whoever does what they're supposed to do. Let me get that off. That has one of the original hose clamps on it. So what we have here is a uh, pair of hose clamp pliers made by Channel Locks. Good stuff. They have special little teeth inside of there made to grab these old hose clamps, which actually this one's kind of already hanging off, but I'll show you how it works anyway. Big piece of cake, right? Let me show you on the uh, fuel pump. They even have a... Uh, or slot to fit those weird shaped ones. If I put it on there correctly. So now what I'll do is pull all the hoses off. So as you can see, there's a good reason to replace these old fuel lines. That one broke rather than just coming off. They're pretty old, pretty brittle. But that's our carburetor part. Off, rather. We'll take off the uh, cam follower here. That's a uh, one little screw there. That's pretty easy. Washer. That's what our cam follower looks like. Now we'll do the fuel pump. It's pretty straightforward. Bolt there and a bolt there. So 
It's one of the older style fuel pumps. If you have one of the small little square ones, it's easy to swap it over. You just put it on. Let's get that gasket off there. Take that out. It's like a 7 16 So I'll rip the uh, mount out of the hose, throw the hose away. And a little attachment screw I'll put back in so I don't lose it. That's how to remove the carburetor. I'll show you these hose clamp pliers again. It's a sales slot. Lines up with that. So it fits in like so. Holds it and spreads it. Pretty handy. I like reusing these just because obviously they lasted this long. They're gonna last a while, and they uh, they're not stupid looking. I don't think. I don't really like hose clamps. The traditional ones, the little screw on them. I like those a lot better. You don't see them as often. Well, you do, but not on everything. Anyway, so I'll probably uh, get the starter off next.